Hey guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. We've had a few people in the comments section asking for our 2019 predicted ladder, so we've been trying to think of interesting ways to make a video like that. So in this video, we will run through our full season predictions, but in 5 round blocks, and taking the time to run through some of the predictions of the bigger games of the upcoming season. Going through each game individually would take far too long, so we will only go through some of the more significant fixtures. The season kicks off in typical fashion, with the Tigers smashing the Blues by 50 points on a Thursday night. The Pies would then overpower the Cats on the Friday night, the Crows would open their account with a win over the Hawks and the Roos would manage to claim a thriller over the Dockers in Perth. The upset of the opening round would be the Dogs besting the Swans on a Saturday night at Marvel Stadium. Round 2 sees the pairing of the Tigers and Pies on a Thursday night, as Richmond exacted revenge for last year's prelim with a narrow win. The Crows doubled the pain for the Swans in Sydney the following night, while the Cats were too good for the Demons down at the Cattery under lights. The Eagles would continue their perfect start to their Premiership defence with a two goal win over the Giants in Perth. Round 3 saw the Cats travel to Adelaide to upset the Crows on the Friday night. The Giants would see a repeat of 2018 with a narrow win over the Tigers in Sydney, while Collingwood got the better of the Eagles in the grand final rematch at the MCG. The Tigers then travelled to Adelaide in Round 4 and made amends for the previous week with a close win over the Power. North would overcome the Crows in a classic Saturday night match at Marvel Stadium to continue their great start to the season. On Saturday night, the Eagles would claim the first Western Derby of 2019. On the Sunday, the Suns won the bottom of the ladder clash with the Blues as Carlton remained the only winless side so far in 2019. The first genuine upset of 2019 was the Lions overcoming the Magpies on Thursday night in Round 5, their first win of the season. North's win over the Bombers at Marvel Stadium saw them shoot into the top four, while the Hawks continued their impressive start to the season getting the better of the Cats on Easter Monday. So after five rounds, the ladder sits as shown. The Tigers and Eagles sit equal top of the ladder to this point, while the Hawks and Kangaroos are not far behind. At the other end of the ladder, the same four teams occupy the bottom four as at the end of the 2018 season. The Swans stand out as the major underachiever after five rounds as they sit in 14th place with just two wins. In round six, the Tigers would continue their dominance over the Demons with a four goal win. Essendon claimed the Anzac Day honours with a surprise win over the Pies, while the Roos followed Richmond's example with a good away win against Port Adelaide. Brisbane smashed the Suns, the Giants were too good for the Swans and the Dockers recorded a strong win over the Bulldogs in Perth. In round 8, Port's form slump continued with a 7 goal loss to the Magpies in Melbourne. The Demons then repeated their semi-final form of last year with a 20 point win over the Hawks, while the Lions added to the Swans misery with a thrilling win in Queensland. The Swans would then break their drought the following week with a close win at the expense of the Bombers, while Collingwood extended Carlton's losing streak to 8 straight games. Adelaide claimed the first showdown of the season against Port, while the Hawks downed the Giants in a close game at the G. The Eagles kicked off round 9 with a classic win over the Demons in Perth, as the Lions continued their good form beating the Crows at the Gabba. The Bombers were too good for the Dockers in Melbourne on a Saturday night, while the Tigers consolidated top spot with a convincing win over the Hawks. In round 10, the Pies consolidated their spot in the top 4 winning a thriller in Sydney, as the Dogs upset the Red Hot Roos by 10 points. The upsets would continue this round, as the Crows upset the Eagles at Adelaide Oval, and the Blues finally got off the mark with a win over the struggling Saints. So after 10 rounds, the ladder looks something like this. The Tigers remain in top spot, and surprisingly, the Cats find themselves in second place with 8 wins. The Crows have shot into the top 6 with some impressive wins, while North, the Demons, and the Giants lurk just behind. The Swans remain languishing in the bottom 4, with Port just one spot above. Round 11 saw the Lions extend their winning streak over the Hawks with a 4 goal win at the Gabba on Saturday night. On the same night, the Demons overpowered the Crows in Darwin in a crucial 8 point game. The following week saw the Tigers consolidate top spot with a 20 point win over the Cats on Friday night. The Blues would upset the Lions at Marvel Stadium for just their second win of the season, while the Swans managed to lift to upset the Eagles in Sydney. In round 13, the Crows impressed the football world with a strong 5 goal win over the Tigers on Friday night. The struggling Saints managed a win over the Suns in Queensland, while North snagged a crucial win over the Giants at Blundstone Arena. In round 14, the Eagles managed to stay in touch with the top 4 with a 5 goal win over the struggling Dons. Meanwhile, 
The Saints made it back to back, beating the Lions in Melbourne, and the Power stunned the Cats on Saturday night at Adelaide Oval. In round 15, the Bombers slumped to 13th spot with a close loss to the Giants at Marvel Stadium, while the Red Hot Hawks torched the Eagles at the MCG on Saturday. The Lions were too good for the Devons at the Gabba, while the Cats beat the Crows in a thriller down at the Cattery. So after the bye rounds are completed, the ladder sits like this. The Tigers and Collingwood comfortably occupy the top two positions on the ladder, while last year's Premiers slipped to fifth. The Power have recovered well to climb back up into 10th spot, while the Bombers are dangerously close to ending their season as they sit in 38th spot. The Bulldogs slump into the bottom four at the expense of Sydney. Moving on to round 16, and the Pies were able to overcome Tom Mitchell this time to beat the Hawks by 10 points on Friday night. The Bombers kept their season alive with a win over the Swans, while the Crows broke power hearts again with a four goal win in showdown two. Last year's grand finalists met again in round 17, and this time it was the Eagles getting the better of the Pies by 10 points. The Bombers recorded another win, this time over North, while the Demons snuck back into the eight with a win over the Doggies. In round 18, the Bombers upset the Crows on Friday night to climb into 10th position. The Blues managed their fourth win of the season over a dismal Gold Coast, while the Giants scored a crucial win over the Pies in Sydney. The Dockers were too good for the Swans in Perth, while the Cats exacted revenge over the Hawks to climb into second spot. In round 19, the Pies brought Richmond back to the pack with a four goal win, while the Saints made it two years in a row with an upset over Melbourne. The Dockers made it two wins in a row beating the Dogs in Melbourne, taking their season total to eight wins to match last year, while the Swans upset the Cats at the SCG. The following week, the Roos got their season back on track with a win over the Hawks, while the Bombers continued their run with a good win over Port at Marvel. The Dockers managed to beat the Cats in Perth, while the Demons upset the Tigers in a game for the ages. So with just three games remaining each, this is how the teams stack up at the crunch time of the season. After the top two, the top four races open all the way to the Demons in seventh place. In terms of spots for the final eight, only North and the Bombers seem to remain a reasonable chance, as Fremantle may be too far back in 11th spot to bridge the gap. In the first game of round 21, the Giants bested the Hawks down in Canberra to overtake them in 7th spot. The Demons climbed back into the top four with a surprise win over the Pies, while the Eagles jumped back into 3rd spot beating the Crows in Perth. The Dockers and Bombers kept in touch with the 8 with wins over the Saints and Bulldogs respectively. In round 22, the Pies scored a commanding victory over the Crows in Adelaide, while the Demons slipped into 5th spot despite beating the Swans at the MCG. The Dockers then bested the Bombers in Perth, but it wasn't enough to leapfrog them in 10th spot. Sunday afternoon saw the Eagles send an ominous message to the league by stunning the Tigers at the MCG, while Hawthorne got a useful percentage boost smashing the Suns at Marvel Stadium. In the final round, North would beat the Demons in Hobart, but it wouldn't be enough to close the gap on finals. The Eagles would win narrowly over the Hawks in Perth to secure third spot, while the Pies win over the Bombers saw them wrap up second spot heading into the finals. The Giants would then belt Gold Coast at Metricon to consign the Suns to a 19 game losing streak and just the second wooden spoon of their history. So here is the final predicted ladder. The top three teams remain the same from 2018, while the Cats sneak into fourth spot as the only real surprise there. Just one win separated fifth from ninth, as the Roos were the unlucky team to miss out on percentage. The bottom ten sides are largely unsurprising, although the Swans finishing 13th probably represents the biggest surprise. So now, it's time for the finals. On the Thursday night, the Tigers were too strong for the Cats as they ran out winners by 24 points. The Giants then eliminated the Hawks in a shootout on Friday night, while the Demons ended Adelaide's season in the other knockout final. The Pies then hosted the Eagles at the MCG on Saturday night, and got their revenge for last year's qualifying final with a 13 point victory. In the semi-finals, the Giants would upset the Cats at the G to send them out in straight sets. The Eagles would also repeat history knocking out the Demons in the other fixture. In the prelims, the Tigers would prove too strong for the Eagles and book their spot in the grand final. The Pies would also knock the Giants out in the other prelim to set up a Richmond Collingwood grand final. It's the grand final most are expecting, with both sides being strengthened in 2018 with high profile recruits. Ultimately, 
I predict Richmond to bounce back after their 2018 failure and claim their second flag in three seasons. As I'm sure you know, this video is intended as just a bit of fun, as we all know the season will unfold very differently. However, if you enjoy this video, let me know in the comments and we may do more of these in the future. Also, feel free to share your own predicted ladder, as well as any comments on our predictions. Thanks for watching. Cheers.